All right, we're moving on to the topic of cell organelles. Cell organelles are pretty much just different parts of the cell. All right, let's begin. We went over the cell theory already. The cell theory had three parts. These are the three parts. All living things are made of cells. Cells are the basic unit of structure and function in living things. Uh, living cells come only from other living cells. All right, we're going to try and kind of go through this PowerPoint kind of quickly because I don't want to bore you guys to death with a long, long video. Uh, so we'll just keep it moving. And remember, you can stop and rewind this video as much as you want or replay it as much as you want. I would recommend it, actually, for studying. All right, so the first uh, we're going to talk about is cell membrane. Uh, the functions of the cell membrane, they have many. The main function is it lets substances in and out of the cell. Uh, it maintains homeostasis. It is selectively permeable, which means it allows certain things in and does not allow certain things in. So it, it keeps certain things out and lets certain things in. It's made up of a phospholipid bilayer um, with hydrophilic heads pointed outward and hydrophobic tails always pointed inward. We'll talk more about those in class. The cell wall, its main function is for uh, protection. It's only found in plants, bacteria, and a few fungi. In plants, the cell wall is made of cellulose, which is a carbohydrate, and in fungi, it's made of chitin. Um, I like to call this uh, mic check 1212. It's pretty much just a little checking for understanding. Make sure you're understanding what's going on. You can look back at your notes. That's fine. Um, how many parts are there to the cell theory, and what are they? So this is just kind of review over the cell theory. Um, so there are three parts of the cell theory, and the three parts are one, two, and three. Organelles. Remember, organelles just means part of a cell. Okay, like if I was talking about organelles in your body, it would be your arm, your leg, your finger. You know, those are parts of your body. Organelles are just parts of a cell. All right, first the nucleus. That's the control center. They pre it pretty much controls what goes on in the cell, and um, the DNA is also contained there. All right, uh, DNA is the master blueprint of the body. Pretty much, it's the um, genetic information that tells your body how to make more cells. All right, the RNA is the messenger. It pretty much takes the information from the DNA and takes that information telling uh, the information of, how, of, of what to make, you know, of how to make a new cell, and it takes it to the place in your body that actually makes the new cells. So the messenger, you know, the RNA takes the message pretty much to the builder, and they build a cell, or they build another part of the cell. Nucleolus. The nucleolus assembles ribosomes. That means ribosomes are made there. All right, the cytoplasm. It's the clear fluid inside the cell that helps movement throughout the cell, and it helps pretty much maintain the position of all the organelles. It, it looks kind of like, or you can imagine it kind of like if you look at a bottle of hand sanitizer, and the hand sanitizer, you have, you know, the actual hand sanitizer, and then you see all those little bubbles suspended everywhere. And the bubbles aren't floating around and moving. They're just stuck in position, but there's... there's um, hand sanitizer kind of holding them into position. That's how the cytoplasm holds the organelles into position. All right, another organelle is the endoplasmic reticulum. Its main function is to transport proteins. All right, there's two types of ER. That's what we call it. The endoplasmic reticulum is also known as the ER. There are two types. You have the rough ER, um, which has ribosomes embedded into it. Okay, and those ribosomes, their function is to make proteins. And then you have the smooth ER, which has a lipid area where pretty much lipid activity goes on. Okay, we'll get more into that a little later. Uh, the Golgi body is another organelle. Its function is to package, modify, and ship proteins. Okay, sometimes people refer to it as like the FedEx of the cell because of how FedEx and UPS, you know, deliver different packages. They package things and then they ship it out. Okay, um, lysosomes. Lysosomes' main function is to clean up the cell. Uh, they contain these different specialized enzymes uh, that digest old and worn out parts of, of the cell and also different pathogens and invaders that might come into the cell or into the body. They help get rid of those. All right, here's a, another mic check. One, two, one, two. Um, which organelle 
which is, again is a part of a cell, which organelle makes proteins? All right, we covered this already, so which organelle's function is to make proteins? If you guess it, it is the ribosomes. Good job. Which organelle is responsible for controlling what goes in and out of the cell? So what governs what goes in and out of the cell? If you need a little help, look back at your notes. If not, then you guessed it. The cell membrane. Good job. All right, this is probably like the last organelles we're going to talk about. Um, the vacuoles. Vacuoles main function is to store excess food, water, and waste. Um, in plants, they're larger and they're usually centrally located, so they're located in the middle of the cell. Uh, we talked about these in our last video. Uh, we talked about the cell theory. Um, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Okay, the mitochondria is where energy production takes place. All right. Um, the chloroplast. The chloroplast helps with photosynthesis in plants and it contains chlorophyll which is a green pigment that um, helps in the process of photosynthesis and we will talk about that definitely um, right after we get done talking about uh, cell transport and things like that um, the last one is ribosomes it measure it's ma excuse me it manufactures or makes proteins that's its function the ribosomes make proteins all right and here are a few diagrams of actual cells. Um, of course, these are just, you know, a diagram. The cells aren't actually these colors. You know, this is just so you can s distinguish the different parts of the cell, the different organelles, okay? So at the very top, you see that you have an animal cell, all right? And they have the different organelles that are contained in an um, animal cell. Over to the right, you have a plant cell, all right? And you can see the large central kind of located vacuole there and you can compare it to the small vacuole over here in the animal cell and then down here you have a bacterial cell all right which doesn't have as many parts because it's more simple less complex and doesn't have those membrane bound organelles alrighty hope you guys got it remember you can watch this video as much as you want in order to study and if you had trouble keeping up then you can rewind it or stop it and copy down the notes